Well, there is a slightly different look and feel in Over the Rhine tonight. Just days after that quadruple shooting we've been covering, there's a heavier police presence and more people on high alert. Simone Jameson caught up with a few of those people tonight, joining us now live with a closer look. Simone, compared to when the shooting happened and a lot of people were feeling scared, what are they telling you tonight? How are they feeling now? Yeah, that's right. I actually spoke with several people all up and down the street who tell me they heard about the shooting and are keeping their guards up. But at the same time, they believe that there's a bigger issue at root here and that it's going to take a lot more than a larger police presence to change it. I think just this day and age, it's something that I think about now when going anywhere, just with the more shootings that are happening. Megan Crawford and Elijah Guerra tell us their concern about their safety is front and center. Two days after a shooting here near the intersection of East McMicken Avenue and Lang Street Wednesday evening sent four people to the hospital. A man in his 20s and three children ages 10, 14 and 15. There's spots that can be bad and some not and unfortunately it's just kind of one of those things that I think wrong place long time. It's just kind of one of those things that happens and you just got to trust that Hopefully there's you know people around that will you know protect you and that if it needs to be. They are among several who say they are rattled by the crime and believe if more businesses are able to move to the area and create events to help bring the community together, it could possibly lead to a decrease in criminal activity more effective than a larger police presence. No time like the present to get started and think about how to make, how to cultivate a relationship with the neighborhood and like thinking about what the neighborhood needs and um, what resources these businesses have that can um, pay back the community. I feel like it's a lot of tension that's in this area that's been here for decades and it still exists. So if that's really not resolved, it's still going to continue. Residents like Perez Jackson are among those encouraging everyone, not just city leaders, to have tough conversations with the young people in the area and be receptive to their wants and needs to be successful. We got to listen to the kids a little bit more and just show some more compassion and empathy. They don't got nothing to do, so that's why they're out here acting crazy. School just got out, you know, so you got to pay attention to these kids and be nice to them. Gotta stop the violence, you know, focus on the kids and the youth, and we just got to do better overall. When the minors were taken to Cincinnati Children's Hospital and the adult to UC Medical Center, once again with non-life-threatening injuries, anyone with information about this incident is encouraged to reach out to Cincinnati Police. You can also call the District 1 Investigative Unit. That number is 513-352-3505. Live in OTR, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now. Simone, thank you.